for people that are in that situation, right? You're you're basically taking them from a position where they're they're kind of trapped in their their property. They don't see another option. And the thing that I love the most is that you were saying, hey, you can take this sample portfolio, put all this work in for you ahead of time, so you can take this on a a, a listing appointment. Listings are you know, few and far between two. So the value that is to a realtor to put that in a listing, it's the same thing that we do when we say, hey, look, uh, if you're going to go out on a listing appointment, let me put together a presentation for you that can show them how you'll cover an appraisal gap, how you're going to counter a lowball offer, how you'll deal with improving purchasing power. Because in the same way that I give this to them, knowing that it's going to set them apart, if they go in with what you have, it's really like what other listing agent went in there and said that they all went in there said they're going to market the property. They're all said, said they're going to run Facebook ads. They're going to uh, have uh, huge open houses, whatever. This is something that really sets them apart. Absolutely. You know, going back to my days as a coastal apartment broker, P PB was my was my area. Pacific Beach, La Jolla, Ocean Beach, Point Loma. Uh, and everyone's really upset about inventory right now. I've always had terrible inventory. For 15 years, it's been terrible inventory. P PB, I think, was 10 to 12 apartment sales a year. And yeah. we did like 30 to 40 percent of that, which was pretty good. Um, but at the end of the day, I had to come to somebody with some real solutions. I found out through conversations with so many of these uh, rental property owners, it's a different category, right, than a home seller, a rental property owner. And I'd say, I'd figure out with them, I'd say, you know, listen, this is what is the real problem here? And I figured it out. Selling their pro their property creates the problem. Yeah, that's really what happens. And so you need to have a solution immediately ready to propose. The money. It sounds like it's all about the dollar bills. It really it comes down to what is my next step. You know, most of the people I talk to are all about building a legacy. They're thinking about their heirs. They've already built up their nest egg. They might have had this property for 10, 20, 30 years. They've built it to a level that they feel very comfortable. They want to make sure it stays at that level. They make sure they want to get a nice income while they're in retirement. They might be on a lot of fixed income. You start talking in that language, you're really going to uh, do a lot of business with some of these people. It's not about, I'm going to help you get 10% more. It's really, it's secondary. It sounds, it sounds like it's counterintuitive, but it is.